Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today, I will be discussing about steps for the projections of solids. So, this is very helpful to solve the problems related to the projections of solid. So, simply you have to follow these steps that we are going to discuss today in this video. So, basically, there are maximum three steps or you can say three stages for the projection of solid. So, simply you can say with the help of the three stages, you can solve each problem for the projection of solids. In the first stage, you have to assume suitable condition. Means, you have to assume in the first stage, the axis of the solid or you can say geometrical axis of the solid either perpendicular to HP or perpendicular to VP in the first stage. So, very simple. In the first stage, you have to assume the axis of the solid objects either perpendicular to HP or perpendicular to VP. Next, in the second stage, what you have to do? Take solid inclination either with HP or with VP. So, simply you can say, if in your first stage, axis is perpendicular to HP, then simply in the second stage, it must be inclined to HP. If you assume in the first stage, axis is perpendicular to VP, then definitely in the second stage, it must be inclined to VP. So, that is the corresponding relation for the first stage and second stage. Now, in the third stage, what you have to do? So, once again, it is very simple. Consider remaining inclination and that inclination may be the inclination of the side, may be the inclination of edge, may be the inclination of top view, may be the inclination of front view in the third stage. So, let's see once again brief about the first stage, second stage and third stage with the help of the figure. So, let's see one by one all these three stages. So, let's start from the step number one. As already we have discussed, in the step number one, you have to take the initial position and for that you have to assume either the axis is perpendicular to HP or perpendicular to VP. Now, see, if in the description it is given to you like this, if corner or edge on the HP, then definitely you have to assume the axis is perpendicular to HP. And if you assume the axis is perpendicular to HP, then definitely your first stage should be start with the top view. Because of if you assume axis is perpendicular to HP, then definitely in the top view, you can see the true shape of the base. Or in the description, if it is given to you, the corner or edge on the VP, then definitely you should assume axis perpendicular to VP. And if you assume axis is perpendicular to VP, then definitely you can see the base as a true shape in the front view. So, you should start the first stage with the front view. So, very simple. If corner or edge on the HP, then your assumption is axis is perpendicular to HP and so that you should start with the top view of first stage. Similarly, you can understand this. Now, once again for this first stage, while drawing the true shape of the base, keep one side or edge which is making inclination perpendicular to XY line and keep it on the lap side generally. But once again, it is not compulsory. Always your side or corner is on left side. But simply, you can follow this syntax. That means, if your side or edge on the HP, then definitely it should be keep on the lap side in the first stage. Either in the top view or front view. So, let's see with the help of the example, so that you can understand the first stage exactly. So, consider this example. Here you can see a cylinder diameter of base 50 mm and height 70 mm is resting on HP. So, 
So focus over here. Here it is given to you. It is resting on HP on a point. So here you can see if corner or edge on the HP, that means you have to assume axis is perpendicular to HP. So here it is given to you a point that is on the HP. So definitely you should assume axis perpendicular to HP in the first stage. So you can assume like this. Axis is perpendicular to HP. Here you can see. Axis is perpendicular to HP. Now let's see another example. So this is as far as the first stage is concerned. So here we are not going to solve the whole problem. But here we are focusing on the step number one only. Now see the another example. Here you can see a square prism side of base 30 mm and axis length 50 mm is resting on one of its edge of base on the VP. So here once again keep in mind age of base on the VP. So here you can see if age on the VP is given to you then you should assume axis perpendicular to VP. So let's see with respect to HP and VP the position of the square prism. So it is like this axis of the square prism is perpendicular to VP in the first stage. So my dear friend I hope you understood the first stage with the help of these two examples. Here we have considered only the step number one or you can say stage one with the help of these two examples. Now let's see step number two. Already we have discussed if you assume in this stage one axis is perpendicular to HP then in the second stage you should assume inclined to HP or vice versa. If you assume in the first stage axis is perpendicular to VP then in the second stage you have to assume inclined to VP. Once again consider the same example that we have discussed in the earlier slide. So here it is given to you resting on the HP. So already we have discussed if it is resting on the HP then you should assume in the first stage axis perpendicular to HP. So it is like this. Then in the second stage it must be inclined to HP. So once again keep in mind if you assume the axis is perpendicular to HP in the first stage then in the second stage axis must be inclined to HP. So it is like this axis with certain angle. So here the angle is given to you the axis of the cylinder is inclined to HP by 30 degree. So this can be your second stage. Consider the another example. Already we have discussed in the earlier slide stage number one. Here it is given to you a square prism having age of base on the VP. So if age of base on the VP then you should assume the axis is perpendicular to VP. So it is like this in the first stage axis is perpendicular to VP. If you assume the axis is perpendicular to VP in first stage then in the second stage it must be inclined to VP. So it is like this in the second stage it must be inclined to VP. So I hope you understood step number two with the help of these two examples. Now let's see step number three. Now consider the remaining inclination and that remaining inclination may be the inclination of the side, inclination of the edge, inclination of the top view or inclination of the front view in the third stage. So once again consider this example. Here you can see the top view of the axis is inclined at 45 degree to VP. So already we have discussed this is the first stage because of here it is given to you resting on the HP so it must be perpendicular to HP in the first stage. Then second stage 
it must be inclined to HP and in third stage it must be like this. In the third stage you can see the top view of the axis is inclined at 45 degree to BP. So again keep in mind in the third stage the inclination may be the side of the base or it can be the edge of the base, it can be the top view of the axis, it can be the front view of the axis. Now here you can see there are three stages. Now how you can draw this all three stages and what should be the sequence for this three stage problem. So let's see the general pattern for the projection of solid. So if it is a cone, then this is the general steps. Here I have assumed the axis is perpendicular to HP and so that you can see the base as a true shape. So you should start with the top view. Then you should follow in zigzag way like as a sign view also. So if you start with the top view, then you should draw next front view, then replace it. Then once again draw the projection next replace it and then draw the projection. So it should be in the form of sine wave. So this should be the sequence for this problem. So keep in mind if you assume in the first stage axis is perpendicular to HP then you should start with the top view and you have to follow in this sequence. So here I have assumed the solid that is actually inclined to HP here you can see. Next I have assumed over here the axis is perpendicular to HP so once again you can see the top view as a true shape so you should start from the top view and you should follow in this sequence. Next once again take one example of the cone here you can see in the first stage, I have assumed axis is perpendicular to VP. So if axis is perpendicular to VP, then you can see the true shape of the base in the front view. And so that you should start with the front view first and you should follow in this sequence. That means sine view form. Next. Consider cylinder. Here once again you can see in first stage I have assumed axis is perpendicular to VP. So you can understand now the base of the cylinder is as a true shape in the front view. And so that you should start with the front view and then you should follow in this sequence. So this is the general pattern for the three stage problem. It can be first stage problem or it can be two state problem also for the projection of solid. But if it is a three state problem, then you should follow in this sequence. If it is a two state problem, then your problem is complete over here. If it is a first state problem, then only you should follow this two step. First you have to draw the top view and then front view only. So in the next video, we will solve the problem related to the projection of solid. So thanks my dear friends for watching this video, press the like button to appreciate it.